today we're at the side of Rocky's home. What I'm wanting to do is show you the strategy that I've used to attach the hamster cam to the tripod right here and what brings you the Rocky the Hamster Cam footage. It's been a fun little project setting this up and I think you'll enjoy it a lot. The camera came with this sticker right here. So I photocopied it onto this piece of paper so I could measure, you know, and mark how I would do it and then use this mending plate to drill the four bolt holes. That's for mounting the camera and the two for securing it to the tripod onto the bracket right here. So if you bought a camera and you wanted to do this yourself and you didn't have this sticker to start with, what you could simply do would be to photocopy the back side of the mount, you know, and that would give you the layout of the bolts. I literally took this sticker and I had it on one of these mending plates. These will be in the building materials section of your local big box store. They're normally used to make a roof truss. So that's the peak of your home where the shingles are fastened over top of, in very simple words. And so I got the sticker and put it on here. And then when I was at my drill press, it was just a matter of, you know, drill there, drill there, drill here, and drill here. And then it lined up as expected. And then I just used two other holes for mounting it onto the tripod. This really wasn't anything fancy at all. The only thing I want to talk about in this part of things is my estimation was wrong. These are not quarter inch holes. A quarter inch is 6.4 millimeters. These were actually M6 holes. So I would suggest you be careful of that. You know, a lot of the building materials are still sold in Imperial units. So you'll need to confirm if it's Imperial or metric. And I would suggest staying with the unit that the camera manufacturer uses because what you're counting on is that little bit of plastic in there, you know, and the same here in the corner, this corner, and this one to hold the camera up over the long term. Now, of course, the bracket right here just didn't end up white. I've spray painted it. So what I did was after drilling the holes and deburring them is put a rod through the top hole. And what that did was hold the bracket while it was getting painted. And then that gave me a way of holding it up once it was painted while the paint was still drying. And since I already had the holes in here in the tripod drill there, and there, I just took that longer quarter inch bolt like this and just left it there to hang so the bracket was right about here. And it just hung there for about six hours while the white paint hardened before I, you know, tasked it at the back and then put on the others. As I said, that part of it was not particularly technical. The final component is on the computer. So what we're looking at right now is the login for my computer network rotor. What I needed to do was make it so that I could bring up the IP camera in my browser and then be able to stream it in VLC media player for recording. So the first step was getting a consistent number and you can there's consistent IP address and you can see it here 10.1.1.32 to load and access the Rocky the hamster cam on any device on my computer network. So what I did to start with was logged into my rotor and I clicked on this view list. 
So that's the option to view all the devices that are presently connected to your computer network. Now, a new device for me shows up at the bottom, but if we go up here, this is the entry here that the mouse is at that showed up on my screen. And that gave me the MAC address 0054 and then ending in 8A6E so I could bind it to the IP address of 10.1.1.32 and then anytime I want to view the Rocky the Hamster camera I just type in 10.1.1.32. So to do this what you need to do is go to your LAN tab and access the DHCP server tab. This is how you do an IP MAC address binding as what's explained in that paragraph there. I made a new entry and provided the MAC address that the, that the camera manufacturer used and then the, the IP address I wanted to use which was 10.1.1.32 hit apply and I restarted the rotor. So at that point forward it would show up here in my view list as the hamster cam. So this gives us the ability to log in on this screen and confirm that it's working and control it if you're wanting to change the angle of the camera. And it's got that functionality. This is the pilt, tilt pan zoom. And this is where an IP camera differs from a camera that is controlled by an app. An IP camera has a web server on the camera itself where you can tweak the settings. Like for example, if we go over here to media and the OSD, you can see where the camera name, I typed in Rocky the Hamster Cam, and then you know there's a few others that I provided here. There's options for recording. What I wanted to show you was the time tab here and I programmed it for this my time zone which I'm in Eastern time. So an app camera won't let you record it through your through the computer you'd have to use a specific app and then and it's depending on how it was manufactured will depend on how you record it. So for me I've got the 101132 IP address now assigned to the camera. So what this lets me do then is bring up VLC media player and then I can go media and open network stream and then this is the URL right here for logging into the Rocky the Hamster Cam and I hit play and there we are on my screen and then what I did or what I do when recording is do the minimal interference so that the margins are as big as possible and this lets me you know record the footage right here or I can use it with the streaming software that I use. Now I know this is going to get a little bit complicated for some people but I would like to show you the last step and it's actually how I'm making this portion of the video. This window here is called OBS or it's a program called OBS Open Broadcast Software. It's not the easiest piece of software because there's so much functionality in it but what you can see here is that I've selected screen number two and I've started recording right here where my mouse is pointing at. That lets me record the Rocky the Hamster Cam to the video file on my computer which is this one, what's this file I'm recording right now. The file to the left of it that I've just clicked on is the one that I made last night for when I'm playing Wreckfest this evening after I'm done producing this video. And then that gives me the video file then I just play it back with VLC until Rocky comes out. Now there is more than one way of doing this. 
What I would suggest, though, is that you have a plan in mind at the very start and you talk to someone if you're not technically inclined and have a plan from A to Z before you jump into this so you aren't frustrated and so you buy the correct equipment to match what you're doing and use the right programs for you because with technology there's more than one way of doing all this. I hope this was interesting for those who have watched the video. I realize it's not for everyone but I thought people might like to see it behind the scenes with the Rocky the Hamster cam. Take care. Bye for now.